Two another three zero meters, two zero zero. Yeah, so if anybody is um, still curious about the specs of Hercules or Atalanta or any of the other type of um, technology that we use, if you go to the Nautilus Live website, the homepage, and you click on science and tech, it should bring up some uh, some sites where you can learn a little bit more mm. about the tools that we use to conduct these dives and what, what they're made of. Oh yeah, does Go the website zoom. say on it like um, like what kind of lights, what kind of cameras, that sort of stuff that we have on there? I believe uh, so. Yep. Oh, cool. Oh, so cool. All right. Uh, can we zoom in on this one again? I think I might want to sample this. This is the third or fourth time we've seen. Uh -huh. Fridge, no? <laughs> okay, this is going to have to be a quick one because there's uh, a whole position. big swing. If, if that's the case then, uh, uh, there's more. Well, this is the fourth one we've seen. So if it's, yeah, we, we're, this is gonna ha yeah, have to be a very careful collection. So I'd rather wait. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. If this, so have we been seeing it a bunch in this area? Uh, correct. Yeah. Um. The ship is stopped now, so we can. So we we're could, not. We could pause a second and see how Atlanta swings. If it's up to you. Uh, I think it's going to have a ways to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so do you, Steve, if you think that we're going to be seeing it a bit, we'll just keep a uh, closer... Yeah, I, I already we'll see another colony. Oh, great, okay. Yeah, so okay. It's, not, it's not rare, yeah. Okay. okay, great. Well, let's just let Atalanta settle out and find one as we go. Great. Um, what's your strategy for this? Is this a snip and slurp? Is this a front box? Let's yeah. Let's see what it, what 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 it settles out as. Um, what what the what the arrangement of the uh, associates is on the colony before we make that call. Okay. It's probably going to be a snip and box. Okay. Snip box. Yeah. What's the front box look like right now? Um, there are two sea stars and one trying to escape, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not going anywhere. There's also two Steve. corals in Lambda. So two sea stars in Omega, two in Lambda. Two corals in Lambda. Okay. So a new coral would go in uh, with the other corals, right? So that the sea stars Lambda? don't snack? Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, because the sea stars are carnivorous, or not carnivorous, but will predate, yeah. Y yeah. But not that fast. Not okay. in like six hours. It takes them a year to to, to eat a coral. So, um, yeah, we do have a storo pad. Well, yeah, let's hold off um, on that, and we'll wait for a better opportunity. I think because there's already a storopathies in the in lambda. I don't want to um, put two storopathies in the forward box. Maybe we'll see with something better. Um, so let's just keep going. Okay. Rider, keep it going. Watch that. Bridge nav. Three zero meters, two zero zero. Oh my gosh, all right, I just got a message in the chat. <laughs> the others on board um, who are watching in the lounge, they're now doing squats for every squat lobster we see. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's incredible. You guys Thankfully, we don't have a camera in the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gonna be sore tomorrow. I love that so much. Um, okay, so you guys are moving the ship again. We're not going to try and suck up any of the uh, layback. Oh. I thought that was to... Uh, you want to do that? Uh, it just depends on... Go for Zoom. Uh, the sample that Steve was talking about getting and then wanted to take his time with. Yeah, no, we're, we're going to keep going. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was okay. a good idea. Okay. Keep moving. If we do collect that later, um, it might be to due toward it might be towards the end of the dive, uh, just so we can put it on top of some rocks or something. Gotcha. Rocks will be fast collections. We can do that on the yep. fly because we can always fly around with them if we get too far behind. Most of the species we see here at 1,500 meters will probably be present at 1,300 meters. It's not a very large bathymet bathymetric range. Gotcha. 
So some folks are wondering how deep we are right now. Uh, we're about 1,500 meters, maybe a little bit more. Um, so definitely one of our shallower dives that we've done so far on this cruise. And we are also getting some questions about how many square feet of the ocean floor do we survey in a given dive or hour. And I'm getting getting the sense that that number can vary depending on if we're stopping to get samples or if we're not, or if we're just doing some observations. Um, I don't know if, Nav, do you know the answer to that question really? Uh, sorry, I was off SPL briefly. Can you repeat? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're just wondering, on average, how many square feet of the ocean floor do we survey in a given dive or per hour? I'm actually going to, well, I was going to say I want to throw back, that back to Steve because I know he's done uh, dive reports and cruise reports. Um, I can give kind of a, we usually cover about 200 meters of um, seafloor per hour uh, with the ROV, but that's linear, that's not a square. It depends on what your goals are. Yeah. You know, if you want to sample, you move slower. If you want to um, transect, you move faster. If you're a geologist, you move really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Is that another basket star? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Another yes. opiate, yeah. right? Yeah, basket star. Wow. Always on the dead dead uh, part of the colony. Is that correlation or causation? Uh, that's a good question. Mm. That is a great question. Thank I would you. I would <laughs> <laughs> I would think it's probably uh, a result Coffee of soup. the ophioroid um, settling. It, it, the, the other question is do they climb up or do they settle? Mm, interesting. Because it it looks like the, the, there's not any like uh, damage to the lower part of the colony. All right, very nice. Cool. Yeah, wow, look at the current. Yeah. Even the branch tips are, uh, or the, the arm tips are vibrating in the current. It's probably why it's such a good coral spot right here. Current delivers nice, consistent food supply. Now. Yep. A lot of fragmented yeah, rocks. Can add here. another three zero meters to One two zero zero. Like a shale type. No, it's not. So I'm throwing this question to anybody out okay, in here. Sir. Um, are there captions available for these live videos? Maybe on YouTube? Uh, I think we used to do captions, didn't we? Were captions in the highlight videos? Um, I but don't know if the functionality is available for the live. It would be in the um, okay, toolbar ahead. of the YouTube embedded yeah. videos. Yep. Okay. Um, or if you click on the video and it takes you to YouTube, there may be additional menu options. Um, that being said, live captioning on YouTube is not uh, always completely accurate. So yeah. our highlight videos have captions that are um, reviewed okay. by our team, and they're a little more accurate. We make sure that scientific names and stuff like Can that. Can we are look in there. down at, at this uh, seafloor here? Yes. Just, just a deep look into the seafloor. Tight, tight, and I'm curious if this is uh, loose or if it's some sort of pavement. Okay, presume. Bunch of chunks of crust. What do you think? I think they're they're 
liquefied together. Um, yeah, you think it's cohesive? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I was wondering if this fits the definition of the nodules that we were I, I scooping. Mean, but it, it very well could be. It's it's hard to tell. I mean, near this summit of the yeah. seamount, um, you're going to have uh, uh, different eruption styles than further below. Yeah. Do Let's keep going. Okay. Um, no poke? Yeah, this just <laughs> looks like a bunch of... I mean, they, they look too uh, variable in size. And I think that the nodule nuggets that we were looking for previously. Oh, there's your coral, Steve. I know, I know, taunting okay. me. Uh, Do we don't we don't want it. Nope. Okay. Okay. No, we'll keep Watch going. That. No nuggets. It looks very similar to one of the storopathies we sampled down deeper. Okay. Uh, and I was I was actually in the middle of trying to do some research back towards that sample. Like, lots of coins in the zoom bank in this moment. You know what? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm looking at reviewing the video from the, the last sampling event. Ah. It is the same coral. Okay, so no sampling needed then. Yeah. Ratch. But the squat lobster looks a little bit different. <laughs> Too late. Can't go back no, to no, the squat lobster. Just, uh, <laughs> I'm not the yeah, spastic, <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Only been working here for like eleven <laughs> years, <laughs> guys. You know that when you, when you tell us that we that I, or tell me that I can't ask too many questions, <laughs> it's going to backfire. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we are, uh, are we waiting for a ship move or? Nope, we're moving. Okay. okay. What you got? I was just wondering if you could zoom here on the umbrella pathies. Yes. One moment. I've only seen one Umbalula so far. What gives? Umbalula, yeah, the sea pen. I, I also have only seen the one. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, they sampled maybe, it, right? Yeah, lack of sediment, I would imagine. Okay. Lack of its habitat. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> 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 I didn't know we saw an Umbalula. I'm so oh, happy for Haisa. It's in the, um, I think it's in one of the sample jars. Yeah. Wow. Think they Number it one, up. I think. Oh, I can't wait to see how you say face when she sees it. Okay, I'm not sure what that is attached to it, but and, uh, are we at full zoom? Yep, we're at yep, okay. we're at full zoom. All right. Yeah, probably some sort of uh, associate animal, anemone or barnacle. Okay. Look at these. Uh, I love this shot with the. The smudge cam. Cy Cyclops. The <laughs> smudge cam, yeah. Um, smudge cam. Smudge cam. <laughs> How long has that been there? Just this dive. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look at that one. Oh my god, smudge cam. We'll, we'll take that out in post. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wishful thinking. <laughs> nice sponge, though. Okay, for Zoom. Bunch of blocky stuff, though. Did you see that? Yeah. It's uh, interesting to see these little fragments, but they're not, they don't look like they're loose. They look like they're still part of the, the solidified, you know, cohesive whole. Um, again, that could just be the characteristic of uh, the final eruption stage of, uh, of the seamount itself. Uh, major oh, eruption stage, I should say. Yeah, we got people downstairs squatting. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell him we just saw squat 30 away. squat lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> My song is coming true. <laughs> what is the song I need to know? <laughs> Remember we were talking about at the beginning of the expedition how everything becomes a crab? Yes. Yep. That yeah. was Come our on. opening. This is the first stage. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they start this is so yeah. scary. <laughs> start squatting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but it is, though. Sure right? We're all like becoming squat like lobsters. Yeah. Our relief shift is going to come in with uh, carcinization. Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And Carapaces. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that was our opening night. Just mm. Our opening ball. night. Yeah. Like our first Cross show. <laughs> Bring it on heavy. <laughs> yeah. Coming out strong. Yeah, yeah. Nice and weird. 
Oh. Bridge, no? Oh, no, what's that red? Actually, uh, do you want to red up there? Do you want to um, get her past Skylander? Um, I or think she'll be able to catch up. Yep. Okay. Um, Sorry, bridge. Uh, three zero meters, two zero zero. Yeah. I think that's a yeah. Shrimp. Long okay, we'll stop too long. Is that a shrimp? Yep. Uh, put on the count. Cool. That's a real shrimp. Yeah, it is. Not a fake. Yeah, shrimp. it is. It's a real shrimp. It's actually a shrimp on top too. Oh, yeah. Two shrimps are speed now. You can see the. Um, We've been going point two. Uh, Do we have a different exercise point two, point for three. shrimp? Okay. I know. What's the <laughs> shrimp exercise? Uh, yeah, jumping Our jacks for shrimp. Sorry. Actually, I think that's the rule. Let they kind of like, in order Point to three. swim, they okay. kind of like do crunches. Maybe they should do crunches, <laughs> right? I like that. Nice shot. Beautiful. There's a bunch of small aplocopherins too. One, two, some barnacles up there. Yeah, lots of animals living on these branches. Okay, we're all set here. Cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> By the end of this expedition, we're all going to be ripped. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's still more, there's still two more ice cream sundays. <laughs> That's true. We need to watch ourselves. That and dessert at three o'clock, like know, every, every day. day. It's so hard. Every single day. Can't really be complaining, but honestly, <laughs> bags of popcorn. I'm not complaining. Bags I'm, of I'm popcorn, amazed. Yeah, Oreos. Yeah. They treat us nice. Yeah, they really do. Nutri-Green bars. Nutri-Green bars. Yeah. <laughs> Cheerios. Cheetos. Oh, oh man. Got a snack healthy. Y'all, we, we just had dinner. I don't know why I'm on this right <laughs> now. <laughs> T-minus four days till ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream four count. already? T-minus 40 shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Approximately. Yeah. T-minus 30 squats. <laughs> A lot of this looks really angular. Would this not be good rock? Like this, this, would, this would be... He said um, the magic word. Yeah, I mean, all you got to do is give me the okay. So <laughs> I'm going to well, take some rocks. It I, I, I know it, we wanted to get closer to that parasitic. It has been almost an hour and a half, I guess. So. Yeah, I mean, I just want to make sure let's, we have enough space. Let's let, for the, sh let's let the, the, the move finish here. I want to make sure we have enough space for that parasitic area. We can definitely do it on the fly, just as long as we're out front. Okay. We don't even have to stop the ship. All right, let's get in front and uh, you give us the okay. <laughs> Too late. What? <laughs> we lost the field. Yeah, there's no more rocks. Awesome. Never going to see one again. No more. Uh, and the uh, first sediment we've seen. In if only hour. we were at a place that was made of rock. <laughs> only. Yeah. Lots of those corals, too, but now we don't need them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am it's poised and ready. Ship. Anytime you see a rock that suits okay. your fancy. All right, all right. Uh, Choose wisely. Anything... Anything, anything? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a low bait Bueller. field here that, you know. Bueller. <laughs> low bait, that's, that's a word. Thanks, Logan. That was great. <laughs> I really got him. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, I just low bait the, field, uh, huh? bubble over there for if we do some sound uh, like Anything that's over here, maybe? A good place for it. So okay. you can switch it back if you want the still cam back. No, I'm happy. It's like an established family joke, Brittany. That would, yeah, that that's fun. a classic. Yeah. Maybe that. That that rock right there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. If you can. Yeah. Why not? Kids. Grab and go. They have ten meters left on the move anyway, so sweet. It's not. Not gonna be much. Yeah, it's bigger than I expected. A little bit. Yeah, we're a little too far big? away still. Fire is mm, Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> what about this one right here? That a little smaller? Yes. From this angle. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, it's very tough to tell. Yeah, kind of far away. Can we try for this rock? It's kind of on the side of a hill. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's another uh, spot. Shall I yeah, we can move along. Okay. You can't get a good spot there. Mm. There's this like beautiful oh. bubble gun or whatever right in the <laughs> right in front of us. <laughs> you feel good? A little purple. Yeah. Okay. Circulate again. Yes. 
Right on the lasers, right? Sorry, I had to look away. I'm going to have to look back in a second here. Um, okay, circle again. I'm sorry, for the 18th time. Oh, uh, I was looking at that one, but I don't know if that's doable or not. This one here? Uh, this one right here. To the looks like it might rock. be loose. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, it's oh. loose. I gotta keep her. Is it in a weird angle? Was that was that pun intended? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, is that crusty? Oh. oh, hold oh. on. We got, oh. oh. we got a straggler. Fingertips. What is that? Oh, we got a straggler. Like a spider. Oh, it's a homolid. Yeah. Okay, oh, well, yeah. it's not, we're not going to get it, so. Um, okay, oh. so do we want this guy? Uh, can I get a rotation on it, please? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how flat it looks. Oh. Or that. that well, it's one. heavy. <laughs> and it didn't break. <laughs> what was it? It has it positive is, mass. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it has a positive mass. <laughs> it felt good. like a rock. Yeah. It's a heavy rock. Um, can you center that That's up and funny. zoom it for me? Right what on? was the associate? It was, a, well, it was a homolid uh, crab with an anemone on its backpack. And, uh, we just and its appendages. Took ah, its home. So cool. Yeah. No, it, it'll probably find another rock. Is a thing that you can use. <laughs> that was a vertical rotation. There is an ophiorite on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I think that'll do. Yeah. Okay, where do you want this to oh, go? Oh, can we do uh, one more spin if yeah. we have time? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna like About come up and like hover. Yeah, yeah, something like yeah, that. Absolutely. I just feel like I'm very more close to this. All this a little bit more. Okay, is that great. too big? Uh, no, I think we can. Data, we can is this good? Um, is this what you want to see? Or yes. Okay. Uh, 15 to box, 20 centimeter. Uh, um, do you think it would fit in? Let's try D. Yeah, let, let's try. Let's you try. Because it, it's pretty distinguishable. Yeah. It could go with okay, so one of these that already one. has. Let's try and put it in starboard uh, D for now. Yeah, starboard and, D. Um, and D. we can always put the other D. boxes on top, or other rocks on top in the other boxes. So okay. And if it doesn't go in that's D, or if it doesn't look like it's going to go in D, uh, we'll go in. Somewhere else. So we can go in F if it doesn't go in D. The ship has stopped, by the way. This okay, is and Atlanta you. seems to be pausing as well. This is 85. Sample 85. 85. Zero eight five, thank Zero you. Eight five. Delta's the inboard all the way in the back. Great, thank you so much. I have a good feeling about this rock. No, I, I think it should fit perfectly. Would you like to cut it open? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Sharing is caring, Nick. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> questions about the cinema cam does that have to be white balanced um like why is the cinema cam so much more vivid than the other cameras that we have and do you i guess have to do the same white balancing and all of that for all of them that's a great question i think that's actually a better question for steve or nick actually because oh. i don't have my hands on that one okay so we can try uh f if that's not gonna work um, I'm just going to try and push it around a little. The answer I can give is that there I know it's nice. a nice. newer a newer camera right, specifically set up to get more beautiful when images. When Fibro is happy, we can keep on moving. Okay. Are we going to have the uh, Cyclops spec at all? Is that a possibility? Uh, what was the question about the camera? Um, I guess somebody was asking specifically about the white balancing. Uh, Cyclops, sorry. Does yeah, it? it's a it's a manual white balance control we have back here. Okay. And um, how many K is awesome. is the cinema cam? Uh, right. Eric can give oh, me I don't know that. I don't know all the specs. Okay. I think this might be wrong. We should double check. But I generally, when people talk about like cinema nowadays, it's pushing like six or eight K. 
I think you're right, Logan. I think it's six. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We'll let her get ahead again, or at least a little closer and then move. Well, you're kind of zipping along, aren't you? Okay to put it moving? Oh, I'd like to get a little bit closer. Roger. Thanks. What are we hoping to find inside of the rock? Can we uh, pan down on uh, height back a bit? Sure. We're hoping to find uh, some plagioclase minerals, maybe some amphiboles or biotite. Um, those minerals we can use to make age determinations. Um, however, we won't be able to tell that immediately uh, from cutting them open. It will require uh, further analysis with a petrographic uh, microscope. Steve, how far do you want to go down on this? Um, yeah, can you just go wide? Or, uh, yeah, that's going wide. Just, a, just a second. Is this and what it's like notice, to be a video? Yeah, a lot of these uh, rocks <laughs> look like feel? crust because <laughs> they all have some at least thin veneer of uh, ferromanganese on them. Uh, some okay. are thicker than others. That's but, good. Uh, you can go back into seven. We're trying to stay away from these uh, longer flat pieces. And yeah. I think that okay. last piece was a little thicker than, than those we got from the last dive, which turned out to be uh, pure ferromanganese. Wow. Yeah, and that crust was so thick then. It's yeah, amazing. some of those were, were really interesting. Kind of a glassy texture inside. Really cool. Well, like I said, I have a good feeling about my rock, so. <laughs> I'll update you all about it. And we're getting confirmation in the chat that the cinema cam is 6K. Beautiful. Well, it's been making very nice photos. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Well, more like 6,000. <laughs> I stand corrected. Thank you. <laughs> this is a Ritigorge. You have Magnus Borealis. Beautiful. Doesn't have a common name, but sometimes fireworks coral. Is uh, Go for appropriate. Mm. Almost looks like oh oh yeah actually can we uh we zoom there yeah in the red splotch. This is an association that we often see on this colony. I don't. It's not unique to uh, Eridogorgia, but uh, this is actually a parasitic jellyfish that mm -hmm. preys on coral polyps. And uh, sometimes if you get a close up, you can actually see it ingesting uh, coral tissue. But sometimes oh. you see one or two of these uh, jellies on, on the coral colony. Mm -hmm. Coral. So tiny. Sometimes, yeah, they're so very tiny. tiny. They're the most likely a new species that um, they, I, I don't know who's working on them, but um, I have been told that there's a new species that are currently being described and we've collected them numerous times um, in the past. And I think also in Kingman and Palmyra recently, a couple were collected on uh, NA, whatever that was. <laughs> One of those. Kingman, Palmyra. NA 1549. I think that's four nine. the first time uh, Steve hasn't pulled up the exact Because I wasn't on it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But you yeah. don't have samples from that cruise? Uh, I haven't looked at them yet. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I'm hoping to get to the museum to examine that stuff mit, uh, in September. You're talking about earlier this year, came on Palmyra. Right. 149. 149. Last year, one, 137. 137, yeah. Yeah? Is I'll that right? I'll never forget that one. It's <laughs> <laughs> fair. <laughs> Tell us about that one, Steve. as well. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather not. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we had a we had a very nice cruise. I think it was very productive. We didn't get to work in the area we really wanted to, 
because the, the weather was uh, against us, but we got a lot of good dives in. We got a lot of good sampling and uh, exploration in. Got to uh, do some nice bird watching while we're out there at Kingman Reef and Palmyra. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just that's what it was, nice bird watching. Sure. Yeah. Oh, is that the bird story? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie yeah. on our boat. The Sounds bird like apocalypse it. is <laughs> what I think it was called. <laughs> Some nice bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> Horror. Horror bird watching. Too close. I feel like the folks online are going to need more than what we're giving them about the bird thing. Oh, I'm sure some of our uh, longtime viewers remember that. Remember it's the been, birds. It was streamed on, on Nautilus Live. Oh you could look God. out the window. You could look <laughs> out at our live feed and see boobies covering, red-footed boobies covering the deck. Yikes. Puking on it. Pooping uh, on it. Not the best day. <laughs> Are you in a position to zoom or? Uh, yeah, I can be. What would you like to zoom on? Uh, can you tilt down and to the left? And the on, that, on that thing? And the still camera? Um, in the or Zeus camera. Okay. And the ship still stops to yep. um. So if this tilt down reveals something to you that you. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna collect. <laughs> I, I know better. I know better. Come on. Just leave a little. A little. Tiny what is that enabling going on here? <laughs> like, what if it was just a small one? <laughs> tight zoom, right? Just want you to be in happy, the middle Steve. of the last version of peer right pressure. There. <laughs> Please closer, more. I'll just uh, like bunny hop closer. No, no, that's all right. Let it swing back. The the colony, just hold. Cause, come on, Steve's over here trying to <laughs> mentally <laughs> coral whisperer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Mind meld. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder if that's our poly key right there. Oh, that, that's the bunch line? We've been looking for. How did you see oh, that? Yeah, did you see that while we were just like screaming by? Wait, wow. it's on the list. Is the polycate on the list? Yes. <gasps> well, the ship has stopped. Steve okay. And I don't want to mention it again. Well, can we. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does this mean we're going to sample? We, can we collect. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this going to be. Do you think a slurp, Steve? You got lucky because it looks like Atalanta is slowing down. Want the no, this, th we're going we're gonna to collect this and put it in one of the starboard. Uh, box compartments. Okay. Lovely. Ready to go what? I'm sorry, is there a smoke navigator cam? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is that a, oh. I, actually, wait. Yeah, there there is. Do you want to make this happen? Uh, we make this happen. Can we hope the smoke nav cam? <laughs> <laughs> so th this smoke uh, nav cam? <laughs> this. <laughs> you can lean uh, it. Oh, oh, no, it's hidden right now. It's definitely not Perfect. That's fine. We can go to ghost. We'll go science camp right now. All right, right? all right. Oh, hello. Hey. Can I, uh, just one second. <laughs> um, so Let's this see. this is a this is a, a, a really important collection uh, that was passed to us by some of our science shore colleagues. This is a bathypathy species, uh, and there is a diagnostically important uh, associate animal. Uh, associated with this, these Are colonies. Are you pretty set? Yeah. Uh, Steve, do you have all of the images of it that you want? I think we do, right? Okay. We got yep. a lot of good ones. Yep. Can okay. you center yeah. it up on the camera? Mm -hmm. So um, it's going to be a cut, a snip, um, but no slurp, because we're probably going to need to cut it about halfway. Okay. And before you cut, can we get one more max zoom? Um, just for just to look. Do you want me to follow you in or get a look first and then? This and then is come just in? this is just a okay. yeah. you can so go all the way in for this. We're gonna need to cut it below this dark black uh, line here. So this is okay. the worm. So we're gonna cut it at least like here, maybe a couple inches below that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. Sounds good. Is the yeah, worm going to stay That's attached? a worm. Yeah. It will. It's not. It's okay. not like the spot lobster. How did you spot this? I'm yeah. so impressed. 
Okay, can we go back? It's the Matrix. I can't, I can't reveal my it's secrets. It's the Coral Matrix. Uh, He's the one. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, let's this just This is going to be Bathy Pathy's pseudo, pseudo alternata. Okay, you uh, can go in a little tighter. And if we collect this, we shouldn't need to sample more Bathy Pathy's after this. Oh, yeah, that's a nice shot, right? Logan, could we get back to this the soon if I can? We're getting some requests to see it from that what angle. Is? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Lots of people in the chat remember the birds. It's really funny. You can cut it lower if you need to, uh, whatever, to make it comfortable. Nope. Uh, I don't quite have the reach. Can you uh, go wide video? Yep. Let me see if I can inch. Uh, is that all the way wide? Can, can we zoom back in? I'm not sure if it... Uh, there's a good angle on Cyclops to see the arm. Okay. Before we cut, can we zoom back in just to see if, if the worm is still on the base segment? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at my max reach here. Yep. Uh, I don't see him. I don't see it, it either. Is it on a piece that's snipped? Uh, no, I think it's still there. It's it's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Maybe okay. Just, maybe just go go for the base and hedge our bets. Uh, yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, can you go wide? I need to see if I can get just another inch out of this arm, but I don't think I. Nah, that's all I got. Doesn't look like it from the. Is it on a loose rock? Out of curiosity. Uh, I just need to be able to reach far enough. I wouldn't be able to, yeah. Okay, can you go in again? Let me see if that's going to be close enough. Yeah, the worm's still there for sure. It did move quickly though. Yeah, do you need me to just bump the ROV closer or? Yeah, go wide. I don't quite have the reach for it. Okay, if you're happy with the arm, I'm just gonna get a bit closer. Center it up and video you can follow me in. Yep. Yeah, it's still there. As close to the base as you can. Take it. Okay, starboard bow box. One of the smaller ones. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whichever one is comfortable, this. most comfortable for them to A, B, C, or D. Yep, and this was eighty-six. Any of the smaller ones. A, B, C, or D, any of the smaller ones, Roger? Yeah, it should be, um, it's a pretty big piece, so it should sink, but uh, I'm going to watch your thruster wash. Okay, uh, we can secure starboard verts um, and see if that's in uh, relay isolation. Uh, just go to thrusters on the left menu oh. there. 
starboard. Um, and we'll have to see if the vehicle can still hold itself with starboard vert. Uh, okay. SP, SP off. SP is off. Okay. We might struggle. Okay. And then we'll need to add a note to for um, future sampling in the starboard box. It should sit pretty well, um, sink pretty well, but as a cautionary note, it won't be super floaty, but we want to just make sure everyone's aware. Okay. What if I put it in a bigger box? Yep. Um, you're a I'm afraid I have to put it in a bigger box. It doesn't really want to sink right in there. That's fine. That's okay. I think some has gone into B right on the. That, yeah, that's all right. We'll we'll be able to pick it out. Beautifully done. Yay. That's Yay. a stretch, but thanks for your patience. Excellent. Okay, once it's in, it's not looking like it's floating now. Yeah, Steve, people are very, very impressed that you were able to spot that. So, um, we were getting that segment of coral for a worm, and what was the significance of that worm? So, there's a new species that's being described that has an association with this worm um, and this may be it and the worm has never been it's been observed on the seafloor thanks to the technology of <laughs> telepresence but it's never been sampled okay. all right yeah and gabby you're getting some shout outs they're saying nice job oh thanks <laughs> That didn't feel so smooth, but thank you. I oh, appreciate it. I'm sure it's much, much, much harder than it looks. So for some of our Dumbo octopus questions earlier, they can, in fact, change color. They do, in fact, have blue blood, mm -hmm. and they also have no ink sacs and three hearts. And the largest one was okay, five foot sure. ten. Oh, that's a nice photo. Was five foot ten? Yeah. Is that what you just said? Did I hear that? Wow. Right? Yep. That's uh that's a big dumbo. That's big. So for the for the one that we have on our highlight reel that's yellow, that was the same color.
kind, it, they just can also change colors. Thank you so much, Bronwyn. I think I like, I think this is my favorite squat lobster. Shall we get it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Anything for Steve. He's, he's impressionable. No, I, I, I just, I just really I like, I just really like their, their pose. Peer pressure. It's uh, oh. peer pressure works every time. <laughs> imposing. <laughs> this is the good kind of peer pressure. More science. <laughs> Steve, I need redemption. That's one more good sample. Oh, yeah, that was a good sample. Over. You see that big rock right there? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Poor truck. And none of this like floaty coral nonsense. It's not really yeah, floaty it though. It's uh. Oh, um, but let's it's put that. Uh, it's I'm just. Gonna put your it's just gangly. On. Yeah. yeah. Gangly. <laughs> All right. So waypoint seven is pretty much, uh, you know, that'll put us at around 15, maybe 1400 meters and change, 1490s. And then we'll be on the, on the fast track to the summit. Well observed. So we have an hour left of our shift. This is the four to eight crew. Brittany speaking, science communication fellow from the California Science Center in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. We're exploring a seamount. This is our fourth dive of the crew's NA-153, exploring around the Johnston Atoll region. And our current depth is 1,510 oh, meters you. with a temperature of oh, 3 oh, degrees crazy. Celsius. So if you've been following along on our past cruises, this is a bit, uh, a little bit more shallow than what we have been diving. And just like the last cruises, we're looking for the biological components as well as geological components. We uh, just took a sample of a coral with a neat worm on it. It was, a, it was a black coral, right? It was a black coral, yeah, yeah in the genus Bathypathies, and the species name is uh, Pseudo Pseudoalternata. Pseudoalternata. Okay, mm -hmm. Steve, Steve Bathypathies is my sampling nemesis. Is it? Yeah, oh, no. I think, yeah, it definitely is. Well, I've chased you a them. few, I've chased a few Bathypathies, like, through, like, the, through the water column, like oh, yeah. snatching at it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, yeah. you're still getting love in the chat, em. Gabby. Yeah. Still coming in right now. If you didn't Shots. tell us, we would never know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, so very <laughs> sweet. Cool. Should I move underway? Like I said, we're um, the four to eight crew, so we have an hour left with all of you online, and then we're going to be switching out to the eight to 12 crew. Um, this is a, I think we're going to keep this dive a little bit uh, shorter than, um, than uh. our previous dives have been. So oh, we're looking about at about 16 hours of bottom time, give or take. So we break up that dive into four hour shifts. Um, if we need to Two more on the, the ship, ship towards Oh, here. wow, there's a seat pen. Uh, this is such a cool camera. I see things that I've never... Karen does yeah. Where's the seat pen? So, no. This? Um, that's really left. Left. Uh, no, it was, it was it's right there. Say again. That's Helicterus. Oh. Yeah. Balticina. We've yeah, sampled it, it extensively. Um, off to my port, it just goes down like that. Oh, okay. I just want to note that it's here. That's, uh, I'll write it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Balticina. That's the first uh, first observation of this expedition of Baltasina. Yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, it's just like when we were stopped, it moved all the way there. I'm not sure why. Hmm. 
We're getting somebody wondering if we've seen any ghost nets or other fishing gear on this dive. Um, I don't think we've seen any fishing gear. We have seen a couple of, uh, looks like tin cans or something that have made their way to the bottom. Um, I don't know if anybody yep. else wants to add. No, I didn't see any. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a which is a very good thing. It just shows you the sea pens are so cool. So it's, it's almost a meter tall, but this pocket of sediment couldn't be more than maybe 10 centimeters deep. They just need such little substrate uh, and they can grow in these patches. Really cool. Okay, for soon. I imagine if it had too much sediment, then it wouldn't uh, form as well, right? I mean, it has to have a... Yeah, but I mean, Baltasina is weird. Um, Sometimes it grows in single stalks like this, and sometimes it grows in a stand of like 200. Mm. Um, wow. It's just, it's tough to tell. This is kind of typical for this kind of seamount landscape where you got pock marks and things that accumulate sediment. Mm. And this is some nice yeah. little uh, ripples over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing how some of these dead sponges look like bones. They look like. Yeah. I keep wanting to be like, oh, and then it's just a sponge. Yeah, I, I thought that was a whale bone for a second, too. I, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> nope, sponge. Is that a, do I see a shrimp? Yes. On the center cam. Yep. Thank you, Bronwyn. Very nice Norella colony right here. And, well, I, again, I keep on looking at the wrong camera because the still cam is so, uh, Triclops still cam is so nice to look at that I kind of lose which perspective uh, the telestrator is connected to and I try to touch the wrong screen. <laughs> um, and the foreground here, that's a nice Norella. I'm just pointing it out for our loggers. Um, a shrimp, too. I think uh, that's the same shrimp. Oh, uh, another shrimp? Yeah. So the folks downstairs better be doing their crunches. <laughs> I'm gonna come check. <laughs> I don't know how to be able to tell. I don't know. I'm just being weird. Right. Moving on. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we're ridge cruising for the rest of this watch. I think uh, we should be able to wake, make it well beyond seven I would think if we didn't stop I think that is possible <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. I think it's possible As assumptions please <laughs> uh, if, if we're not doing any more collecting I think we can do it okay uh, well, wait, 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 wait. Uh -oh. No more collecting. <laughs> well, someone wants to get to waypoint seven by the next hour. Uh, well, someone. Should <laughs> <have gone> <laughs> <laughs> someone should have collected before we left. <laughs> not stop at this robot for nothing. <laughs> Turn this ROV right back around. <laughs> Okay, so that uh, westward move is almost complete. Do we want to do another one? Because Argus or uh, Atalanta is not moving yes. over still. Sounds good. Bridge now. Can we do another two zero meters, uh, 255? Yeah, worst case, you just end up on the other side of the ridge. That's okay, no zoom. problem. Yeah. You zoom whenever you're happy. Oh, that's a good song. It's a perfect view. Yeah. The other side of the ridge. <laughs> I was hoping the song would be Zoom when you're happy. <laughs> I zoom if you're sad. I'm not going to lie, so was I. <laughs> should we toss it to the internet to tell us uh, what our next original composition should be? Yes. Yes. I'll let you know when they start coming in. Come wide, please. Thank you. Very so, nice uh, zoom on that hemichorellium. I am uh, a little surprised at the lack of sponge diversity at this site. 
much less than others. We've got a lot of these polyopagon sponges and, and occasionally a colophagus, something, you know, a few regadrilla here and there, but I'm a little underwhelmed. Not impressed. No. I mean, it's a good thing please? corals are okay. dominating the benthos here, but I thought sponges would be more prominent. Yeah, oh, now that you mention it, that's true. We have not seen very many sponges, comparatively. Oh, squat lobster in the triclops. Yeah. What are the <laughs> star-shaped associates on the sponge? Oh, squat lobster here. It's floating. <laughs> are those hydrozoas? Hi, zoanthids? Hey, come on, please. Uh, where at? The, the yellow? Thank you. The star shape. Which? On top of the sponge. It's uh, oh, yeah, uh, ophiroids. Okay. Uh, brittle stars, yeah. Oh, sea cucumber. <laughs> wow, somebody said bridge nav the mixtape. <laughs> I think that's it. That's the winner. <laughs> so that's a sea cucumber, right? Not a sea pig? Sea cucumber, yeah. Not technically a sea pig. Sea pigs are usually from the family Elpidiidae. And this one I, is not that. I think it's a Cynolactid or some, some relative. That was really cool to see it swimming like that. I've actually never seen that before. I think that might be benthodites or something very similar. Benthodites. Okay, Brazil. There's a lot of basket stars where we are too. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, impressive. I think it's just the current. You know, these are planktivorous animals, uh, suspension feeding, and uh, it's a good, good spot for them. Good environment. That's beautiful. Is the ship? Uh, ship is moving. Uh, we're kay. just bumping over to the west. Um, okay. But you can we're come on, this please. move. Uh, RV, do we want another move, or can we start? Tracking south again. Let's track south. I think it's, I mean, it's a bit closer. Yeah. Um, Karen, can I steal bubble? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, in that case, let's do. Uh, So there's the ledge ahead of us, right? Is that what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, it's kind of like down there. Okay. Like it's kind of, it's quite flat there maybe. Okay, so let's do uh, 195. Does that align with what you're seeing? Yeah. Okay. Ritagorgia bella. Bridge, no? -E L-L-A. Ritagorgia bella. Common up on uh, this ridge. Let's do 30 meters, 195. Okay, presume. Looks like a dead base of uh, sponge. Cool. Former sponge. Former sponge. Might have been growing around that bamboo coral. Is the bamboo coral sticking right out of the top of it? That one gave me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just <laughs> first <laughs> gross sponge. Oh yeah, there's blood. Mm. Found it. Nick, you're so quiet. Are you okay? I am doing great. Yeah. I'm just looking at this uh, at the uh, topo map over here and seeing quite the drop-offs. We're on that uh, on that side. 
mass wasting event of some sort. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like a mass what? Like a mass wasting event, like maybe some kind of like faulting or like a Listrick type of a fault where, uh, you know, for some kind of reason you had um, a, a break in, in Go for soup. just a, an, an idea, hypothesis, and it kind of, kind of curved down. If you look at this, uh, over here you can kind of see nice primnoid this, old, coral. this area over here has kind of been pulled down a little bit topographically come wide thanks so can't do much better than that yeah are you looking at the area between waypoint seven and eight uh-huh yeah interesting yeah oh that's what you guys mean when you say waypoints i'm finally yeah. seeing the picture in front of me i'm like oh okay i understand yeah. now yeah, if you ever want a little tour, let me know and I can zoom out and show you where we are. Okay, sounds good. And actually, Logan can put that up on channel 3 if we really wanted to, to do that at any point. Yeah, I can if we want to showcase. Um, are you on PC2? PC3? I can check real quick, actually. Uh, I'm not sure. I think two, uh, 3, actually. Nick, you want to do your explanation again about what you're seeing here? Um, as here. far as the topography? The future, yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll start this. Logan, are we streaming it? We're about to. Cool. Yeah. I can just give a quick explanation of the software and then throw it over to Nick for go. the geology. So online viewers, if you want to make sure you have channel three available to view, I think that's what Samantha is going to be referring yeah. to. Channel three of the quad, which has also channel three. This is what you're looking for, yeah? Uh, let me confirm. If not, I'll switch to two. Uh, two, please. Yep. I think. Cool. Uh, nope. How about? <laughs> 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 uh, for, for me, it's a uh, hype sur HYP survey. Is okay. that something that's I happening? can, yeah, let me or hype plan. stand by. Hype. Yeah. The two, uh, the two screens that Logan just showed, though, are the um, ROV navigation screen. So that's actually kind of cool to see, too. And then this is the ship navigation screen. The HYP plan has a better uh, macroscopic view of what I was talking about. Uh, okay. Go for zoom. There we go. I think that's what you're looking for. Sure. That'll work. Uh, yeah, so this is um, HiPack. It's the software that we use for, for navigation, both for ROV navigation and for seafloor mapping planning. Um, so you can see here uh, anything that says WP is a waypoint. So we're following waypoints um, along the dive track that the science team um, and the mapping coordinator kind of put together um, prior to this dive. Uh, and then the I record you. Uh, anything marked any one five three underscore with a number. Those are the, all the samples we've been collecting. So this is just a way to keep all of our our targets in one place. Um, and come and then Thank you. All of the lines here. So let me zoom out. Um, we have the bathymetry from the mapping that we did overnight. Um, overlaid in this map, which is really cool. Red shows shallower depth. Blues and purples, cooler colors, show deeper depths. And then the lines here, um, the larger contour lines are 100 meters spaced, and then the really tight lines are 10 meters spaced. And with that, I will zoom into the area that Nick was talking about. Yeah. So actually, that zoomed out. Uh, it was a little bit better for what better. I wanted to discuss here. So if you look at this big picture uh, stuff going on over in this kind of green area, it's it's a high topographic relief. Uh, going from like waypoint eight up to like the uh, I, I would say the north uh, east part of the screen, uh, and it looks like there might be some kind of faulting going on in that situation, just kind of a, an idea or some type of mass wasting event uh, that led to such a dr drastic change. Um, it could have just been how the lava cooled, uh, but uh, just something me and Rob were talking about that it might be, you know, it could be a, a something faulting event uh, due to these. Uh, uh, secondary erosional events like where waypoint nine is uh, that's going to be one of the uh, 
uh, areas that we're interested in, um, that'll be uh, a resurgent volcanism event that happens after the, the main volcanic eruption. Could happen much later, um, but it's um, it has very certain, very characteristic attributes, uh, chemical attributes that are much different than what you'll see from the main lava flow, and we'll determine those through uh, chemical analysis. Cool. Really cool. So, to a biologist, just because when I hear wasting, I think of like sea star wasting disease. So, a wasting event. Is that basically just like fallout, like yeah. rock fallout? Yeah, yeah, okay. just mass wasting, uh, you Some know. Some kind of yeah, idea. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Are we struggling uh, with Herc to move forward in the current? Is um, it just a little bit. I think uh, the tether's a little bit stretched out as well. Uh, okay. So just waiting. No, no, that's fine. Uh, just waiting for the ship to catch up and then. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can see the current moving by pretty fast. Yeah. I was just curious if it was that strong. Thanks so much for showing the map. The online viewers are really yeah, appreciative. That's cool. That. Yeah, yeah, great. Anytime. <laughs> nice to get oriented when we're down here. Yep. Go back There's to our all these waypoints. Now we know what we're okay. referring to. Maps <laughs> are a lot of fun. Yeah. So much bubblegum. Focus on uh, triclops is still a little. I'm sure the smudge isn't helping. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. What do you mean? <laughs> what smudge? What smudge? What I'll smudge? So, according to our bathymetry, in the next 50 to 100 meters, we're going to start kind of veering to. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, 150 or so. Uh, we're kind of going to wrap around the base of this. Um, or the, uh, not base, opposite of base. The, <laughs> the ridge is going to wrap around <laughs> a little bit. Um, and we'll start heading to the port side. So. Yeah, I see that. What is that? It's a crinoid. Crinoid. It's a cool crinoid. Yeah, it's got a nice uh, bicolor pattern. Okay, it's cool. Is it yeah. rare to see yeah. them this Yellow far and red. away from everything else? I feel like most of the time we see them in association with other things. The current's really ripping here yeah. uh, from the biology like behavioral perspective. Usually when they lay flat against the rock, that, that they're trying to reduce drag. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's holding Makes on for sense. dear life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I had a question about crinoids. So that one obviously was not stocked. What is the difference between a stocked crinoid and an un Is it literally just a stock or? No, it's uh, they're two, two, two different groups. Um, okay. The comatulids are a group that usually contains the, the feather stars that we saw just now. Um, so that's, those are loose, you know, free, free living. Um, and then the stocked ones are more restricted in their movement. Um, there are some stocked crinoids that do have the potential to move, uh, the isocrinids and their relatives. Um, but we yeah, haven't sure. seen many of those and we don't expect to see those on, in the Central Pacific here. Uh, that said, yeah, most of the stocked crinoids. I think the stocked crinoids are, are considered to be the more, the older lineage, um, so the more, the more That's basal. Yeah, okay. nice. Metallogorgia with a, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Also, could be metallogorgia, could be chrysogorgia, but the associate relationship doesn't suggest metallogorgia because it's often not, um, it's often very restricted to its uh, ophioroid associates, so that this is probably Chrysogorgia. 
um, by the associate relationship. Good imagery and really important observation. Thanks. Can you explain the associate relationship a little bit more? Uh, so different animals uh, have stronger Negative. associations Perfect. with each other. Um, and that's consistent okay. throughout their known distribution range. Mm -hmm. So when we see species that, for example, associate with a brittle star of a particular species like Metallogorgia, um, have other associates, it's probably not the species we think it is. Uh, and so that, that this could be one of those cases. Because it looked, it looked like Metallogorgia, but the way that it was branching, particularly lower on the colony, suggests that it might, might have been a Chrysogorgia species. Thank you. They're both golden corals, and this can be somewhat hard to tell apart. Is that a shrimp? You saw a shrimp, Bronwyn? <laughs> Even if you think you see a shrimp market. <laughs> <laughs> Very scientific. Over so wait, here. we have a shrimp count, a spot Other lobster people. count? Um, we also have a Dumbo <laughs> octopus count. Okay. <laughs> With one, yes. Great. Nice sunset from wire camp. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, presume it's a classic showcase. I'll pop that up after we look at this crinoid. Did you see the sunset? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice paramarsia there. Uh, this is a species we've observed already on the dive. It's a species that's known to me uh, from this area. I think we might have sampled it last year on the Johnston cruise. So, just image and carry on. Beautiful. What is, what's our step, uh, moving steps? Uh, I've been doing different steps, but recently three zero meters. Okay, cool. So our online viewers, if you're unaware, we're doing a shrimp count just for fun. It's, uh, I don't know how it started. I don't know the origins. It just, it, it just formed. Um, but we are just counting shrimp randomly as, they, as we see them. And so we have a tally on. Uh, this, this one is Candidella here. It's Candidella helminthopfra. Mm -hmm. It's pretty distinctive. We saw it on the last dive. Sampled it quite a bit. So we have the shrimp count, and we just started a squat lobster count recently, and a demo octopus count. And our crew members that are watching along um, outside of the van, outside of the control room, are making a game out of it. So they're doing squats when they see squat lobsters. <laughs> what are they doing when they yeah, see a shrimp? 100%. This I, is Candidella helminth up I had the idea of maybe them doing uh, crunches when they see a shrimp, because squid, or, or excuse me, uh, shrimp have to kind of like crunch mm, in order nice. to move. Right? Yep. Venus flytrap uh, anemone associate, or? So, just for fun, that's all. Steve? What's up? Is that a Venus flytrap anemone so associate, or? Yes. yes, yeah. I'm not sure if it's an associate by choice, but it's an associate opportunistically for the anemone. Probably found a nice place to settle. Oh, there's a stocked crinoid. Speaking of stocked crinoids. Speaking right there. of, okay. they're so beautiful. That's a beauty. You can already tell it's strange from this far away. Yellow base, r dark red or brown tentacle, or um, body. Yeah. And maybe something hanging on there. 
okay for Zoom? Uh, is that a snail? I think so. Is that a snail? We're right here. Yep. Are snails of particular interest to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to get good imagery of it. Okay. Why is Steve being it's so a very definitive, tonight? definitive yeah. answer. He had his, he had his uh, sampling voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sampling <No>. voice. <laughs> ah, it's laying eggs. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This could be eggs. Uh, any chance you can get a better zoom on it? I'm not going to collect it, but can you get like a really good zoom on it? Uh, that's max I got. You know how you can get a really good zoom on it? <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not biting. I'm not biting that bait. That's what he said last time. I know. <laughs> Famous Actually, I, I've words. never seen this. This is uh, interesting. I've never seen eggs being laid on a crinoid yeah, stock before. Yeah, especially at the top. Yeah. One thing to build your home at the base Eight. of a crinoid, another oh to be God. blown in the wind. Okay, um, we should get going, I think. Okay. okay. Yep, good image. Steve, okay to keep going? Yep, good. Oh, and he's offline, so let's keep going. Gonna add another move in. Yes. Um, I think we can keep doing. 195 for now. Bridge okay. now. Three zero meters, 195. So it looks like most of this rock we're looking at right now is mostly crust. Uh, that's probably why we're not gonna sample anything until we get close to those parasitic cones. Is that the reason why? Yeah, that's why I haven't been. <laughs> There's not been a, yeah. a full ban on sample collecting until we get there. Though I look at the Cyclops <laughs> cam and they look much better. <laughs> well, so I, I might convince myself. We should have done it while Steve was occupied. Well, we'll, we'll get the update from uh, <laughs> Steve here. What's the news, Steve? I actually do want to go sample that, that cr uh, uh, <laughs> crinoid. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm totally kidding. And a rock as well. <laughs> Yeah, I knew he was. 180, go back. Anything to do with a mm -hmm. No, that was that was a really cool observation, and I hope that was highlighted. It was. I, that was something I don't think has been seen on the many, many hours I've been watching deep sea TV. That's a lot of hours. Deep yeah. sea TV. It, is that on cable? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that on? Okay. It's similar to slow Satellite? TV. Now on dish. Yeah, only on dish. It's got a nice ring to it. It's a hashtag. Yeah, actually, Deep Sea TV was the first um, thing that got me hooked on uh, Deep Sea Exploration in 2013. Um, fabulous hosts uh, on uh, one of the very early EX uh, cruises uh, with Amanda Demopoulos, formerly um, used to be a lead scientist on one of our cruises in 2014. I got a passage, and then Martha Nizinski, who's at the Smithsonian, led deep sea TV off the New England seamounts and canyons, and that's what hooked me. Nice. Yeah. Full circle. Um, yeah, so it sounds like in discussing amongst uh, the expedition leader and lead scientist department heads that there's going to be a four hour extension to our dive, uh, but so we'll, we'll receive the official notice, uh, hopefully, in the next few minutes. Okay. So we'll be recovering at the start of our watch, our next watch, 4 a.m. Feels like you're flying through space on the on the still cam a little bit. Yeah. The marine snow. 
What is that on the right hand side? Oh, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. <laughs> turn right, turn right, oh, turn right. Oh my gosh, it's a dumbo. <gasps> oh, it's my even bigger. Gosh. Holy moly. What Good on eye, earth? Steve. I think this triclops is worth every penny. Absolutely. Oh, I could see that coming way before. Oh, and it's coming towards us, too. I have what chills. Is it what is it? Bread, huh? <laughs> that is a good question. What is it, Steve? Oh, it's a, it's it's a dumbo. It's a big dumbo. It's, it's a, a five big foot dumbo. ten dumbo. Are we making the record for yeah. dumbo? I don't oh, know how big it is, but it's. It. Should we it's turn big. off the. It's, it's going to come into us uh, for uh, yeah. image? Yeah, oh, we we'll turn off the lasers my. for sure. <gasps> That's a big dumbo. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> it looks different than the last one too. Are you sure it's? It could it so be there's a two. There's a subspecies. Yeah, it could be a different one. Um, definitely want to get a look at the tentacles. Can we turn uh, lasers off? And the, the yes. arms. Yes, lasers going yeah. off. Get a look at the arms Holy. so we can see if there's any diagnostic features there. And then there might be a, an isopod or something like. Oh, I'm, again, I'm tracing on the wrong computer. <laughs> uh, just below between the eyes. Maybe an associate. That's very wow. unusual. Might oh, be something okay. else. The webbed arms are really interesting. Too. Once we get our, our beauty shots, our beauty imagery, we'll do some diagnostic imaging of the arms. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, this is a really nice. I've really never seen one this big. This is probably not the same type of um, octopod we looked at just uh, at the beginning of our watch. Perfect background, too. I have chills. Really long arms. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna give you a uh, tail to tail, but you're gonna run out of leash at some point soon. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Thank thanks you. for. I was totally yeah, spacing no problem. on that. Yeah, I was trying well, to do my best. Before it escapes yeah. away from us, can we try and do a closer zoom? Oh. Um, kind of running right. out of leash. Okay. All right. Oh. Definitely. Well, we got we got the oh. good job following good it though. Yeah. We got yeah. the important. Yeah. Uh, shot. That was really that, that was, was really fun. something else. Maybe one. Actually, last breathtaking. Try. Okay. It works. Great work, pilot video. Yes, that was neat. And our Dumbo Octopus goes to two. Dumbo Octo count. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to make it to two the whole cruise. Oh, wow. Huh. Let's try while we're That was a much larger oh. Dumbo Octopus than we saw earlier. Wow. I'm going to head back. I'm okay. sorry, I yeah. can't do this. Oh, that's there totally fair. And now it's going off into the abyss. Oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to hold it together. That was awesome. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Take a deep breath. Good yeah, eye, Steve. If, um, that was, yeah. uh, that was, you saw that on the, I saw it on the triclops. Yeah. Go right, go right, go I'm going right. to get a t-shirt. Awesome. Yeah. A t shirt? I saw it on the triclops. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan owes me a t shirt. Yeah. After that, he really does. I bet drifting so much. Ooh, so cool. Yeah, that, I think we should be able to send off some of those images and get a better uh, okay. ID on that because that was pretty distinctive. It does remind me, like you said, Gabby, of the series of this. Yeah, it really with does. With the longer arms mm -hmm. and the webby arms. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a great following. What are you looking for? Yeah, uh, great job following. It really was. Has. Thanks. Um, scurrying away. You got. It looks like you've got full power right now. Okay. Yeah. I was uh, trying to. Sorry, I should say full pressure. I'm trying to like edge back and change my heading. It's like. So um, your lat the laterals don't have much power. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm just trying to change my heading right now. Here we go. I'm just trying to go backwards.
so I think we're just trying to make our way back to uh, the seamount after exploring that really, really amazing Dumbo octopus. Mm -hmm. I'm still like pinching myself. That was amazing. I, I think, uh, yeah, that was a that was a really nice one. Wow. Two two different potential genera of Dumbo yeah. octopus and one, one watch. And one watch, even yeah. unbelievable. Yes. I think, I think so. I think it's just like I'm so far away, and I'm yeah. trying to change my heading, and then I'm trying to go backwards, and like, yeah. And we caught it like at the perfect time because it was be just us, like drifting, and yeah. like it just drifted off the ridge pretty yeah, much, and so. Went into and the I abyss. Into the abyss, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, so it. I'm thinking uh, t t t like two two zero. Is that? Or are you thinking a stronger? Due west. Okay, yeah. I just pull back completely. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I could I could totally see Ceratuthis okay. as a two seven zero identification for that. Bridge now. Ceratuthis? Zero. Zero tuthis. Yep. Uh I'm gonna Google that right. Three zero meters uh two seven zero, please. Spelled that completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> not cirrhosis. <laughs> <zero two. laughs> Very different. Yeah, thank you, Google. <laughs> <laughs> That's also my fault for spelling it wrong, probably. Yeah. yeah. Steve, I need help. How do you spell it? Uh, here, it might be. Okay. Thank nope. you. Not there. <sighs> Go for heading change. I found it. Okay. C I R R O T E U T H I S. Cool. Awesome. Up oh, the rear. Yay. Okay. So I think we'll let this move. Wow. Uh, yeah. Go for a little bit. Cool. And do a uh, Doppler reset too. Yeah, let's when do you that. Get <laughs> All I've got is heading on, so. Okay. Uh, here we are. Oops, nope, not that one. So, the real question the sunset outside or Ceratuthis? Oh. Um, Ceratuthis for sure, yeah. but still, let's take a look at the sunset if we can. Because I think it looks really awesome. Do you have, where do you have Ceratuthis? Wait, what? Okay, I it think we're going to hold the ship here. <laughs> yeah. Unless you like to get further across. Yeah, Okay. Logan, well, you might have to Bridge pull up the now. sunset cam. I can it's definitely kind of punch the like sunset cam. Let's hold yeah. position here. Okay. It's so, so easy to lose track of, of like what sunset. Sunset. Yeah. it is yeah. in this room. But yeah, there's the sunset if you all want to see it on channel like three. Right it is gorgeous. I don't That's know. a good one. Yeah. Four to eight yeah. solution. Yeah, I just yeah. saw you dump pressure this there for a second, but you look strong right now. This is what we see when we're on the four to eight crew. We watch the sunset and the sun rises. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty alright through cam wire. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as in person. But it's true, it's true. <laughs> I'll take it. It is, yeah. I'm glad I missed the sunset if I was able to see that zero to this. No offense, sunset. Nope, still getting pulled off. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Okay. I think the sunset will understand. I, I think so. <laughs> so, um, one thing that's happening is uh, your auto head is sucking up a lot of your. Yeah, you you only get when it's when it's really currenty like this. Uh huh. Okay. No worries. Um, right. Okay. Oh, well, lovely. Okay. Do we want to try? It almost feels stronger when it's going backwards. Yes. The little. <laughs> so I'm 
So we just have it's about yeah. 15 minutes left of our watch. Uh, the four to eight crew is going to be okay. switching out. Well, and then baby. the eight to 12 crew is going to be taking over. So if you have any last minute questions or comments or anything like that, um, go ahead and get them in, especially if you want them answered by this crew specifically. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to wait another like 10 meters to see if we re reacquire that wall and then... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But this dive has given me hope that I might see a whale. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we saw two Dumbo octave. What octopi. would your reaction be if you saw a whale? I, 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 so I, I got to see your reaction <laughs> just now, <laughs> and it was it was awesome. And I'm right next to it was very animated yeah. in a positive way, and uh, I could only imagine what a whale sighting would, uh, would I do. I would evaporate into bubble, <laughs> bubbles and sparkles. <laughs> never see me again. I would just. Grow a unicorn horn and yeah, yeah. just uh, that was such a good answer. Wing <laughs> and fly away. <laughs> fly away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so for our viewers online, if you haven't seen the footage, there was actually this was back in 2008, I think. When the was it that they saw whale? the sperm whale? Yeah, that was uh, 2015. Uh, oh. 2015. Yeah, I don't know. What I was thinking. Do we remember um, the cruise number? I, <laughs> yes, I do. It was it was the NA. O fifties. Awesome. All right. Okay. I, I don't know. Were you on that cruise? That's I was standing five. right. You were right on the gross. social deck when I really, you. really. Did you scream? I would have. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone inside screamed. Yeah, I know. I was actually watching okay. the sperm whales on the surface. Oh my gosh! Wow. Like they were they were uh, playing on the surface. Okay. Well, I so think there I just found the, the top of the oh, yeah. whales yeah. where I was before. So once I do. Um, yeah, so that was 2015. There was a sperm whale that Thank was you. checking out the ROV. I that. And it was just circling for like 20 minutes. Um, so there's some really, really amazing footage of that online. If you want to check it out, just type in Nautilus baby. sperm whale and you should see it. How big was the Dumbo? It was huge. That I don't know really exactly big. how, yeah. based on the lasers. I, we actually turned the lasers off. Um, yeah, lasers were off. I, I would say it's probably in the ballpark of, you know, end to end, maybe half a meter. Wow. Yeah, it okay. was long. But uh, I think we, it was the better decision was to get it with lasers off. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Since there's not a lot of diagnostic details in the, the length of it. Um, but hopefully, yeah, that, uh, that clip will get published to a highlight one day. Yeah, yeah. if you all want to maybe follow up, you could check our website or social media or whatever. I am absolutely, I'm pretty confident <laughs> that's gonna show up again and we can have more idea, more of an idea of how large that was. <laughs> that was a five star highlight. That was a what? Five star highlight. Uh, I give it a three. What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's out of three? Only a whale gets a five. <laughs> Only whales get five. This is a log scale, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People in the chat are giving me good vibes for whales. Thank you. <laughs> okay, seems like you have poor control. Yes. Right. Great. Sorry about that. Detour? No, current. Yeah, the current helped your amazing driving earlier, following the <laughs> octopus, and then it <laughs> getting back on track was not as easy. Yeah, the, yeah, very seamless. Yeah. Okay, so we are reacquiring this uh, ridge. We'll let her get in front of that Atlanta, um, but we're also looking at a watch change in the next five minutes. So we may just um, get the vehicles lined up again for the next watch. And yep. Settle them. Sounds good. Well, I don't know, but zero toothus. Oh. <laughs> waypoint seven. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You what, gotta do go with you, what do you think? Go with your heart, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, I think we made it. The ship's there. Yeah. Close enough. There we go. Check that box. So all the doubters call it a success. <laughs> <laughs> all the haters. Yeah. <laughs> Did we have any? <laughs> Doubters? Yeah, not. Yeah. That's true. What haters? <laughs> I can hate that. It just sounds cooler to say it that way. <laughs> no, we, we made it. We, we did what we planned to do. I think we did an excellent job. We and, saw the, some shrimp and, and the pilots deserve their uh, yeah. kudos for, for yes. flying in this uh, amazing. blizzard of a marine snowstorm. Somebody's asking, why was it good to turn off the lasers for the Dumbo? Uh, just better for the highlight, for imagery, to just have them not bouncing around on the octopus. Yeah. yeah. So they were on for a portion, so that way we could, um, we can extrapolate and get a uh, closer idea of how large exactly that octopus was, but just for image purposes, cinematic purposes, it's better to have the lasers off. They're not very aesthetic. And it's really annoying when you're trying to make a viral video and they just keep going pew pew. Pew pew. <laughs> pew pew. I was hoping we'd get one more pew pew in. <laughs> oh, you got it. You still that, need to turn it back on. <laughs> is that the new sub aerial? <laughs> uh oh, what did I miss? I think we went all shit with that thing. Uh, sub aerial. It found us eventually. <laughs> sub aerial <laughs> immediately clicks Samantha Vegas. <laughs> So Steve, who are you going to share the photo with? Mike Bacchiani or? Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, probably. Cool. He is a the registered scientist at Shore. <laughs> yeah. Brittany, thank you for saying that. My mom just sent me the YouTube video of Nautilus finding the sperm whale. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? No, not yet. Oh. Thanks, Mom. Oh, it's my favorite video. It's I've seen the whale fall, but I don't think I've... Oh, is it the whale fall? No. Nope. Okay, I live, haven't seen the whale, the actual sperm whale. It's a live sperm whale that's like just nose to nose with Hercules, just wow. checking out the ROV. Wow. It, was a, so it was a juvenile, too. It was a baby. A little baby. Mm. Uh, we could <laughs> do a move. We've got about three minutes before the next watch is going to be here. So, yeah. Do we want to hand over... During a move, or just sit down and it's up to you guys. It's okay to hand over during a move. Okay. That's that's fine. They can as as long as everything's untangled. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's aim for. Oh, I don't know. Two zero zero. Does that make sense with? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all riled up. Yeah. Well, we're back in sheet flow land. We are back in sheet flow land. I was just thinking about that. Oh, you're thinking that way? Yeah. Okay. We don't like sheet flow land, do we? No. Well, it's hard to sample. It's a good That's thing we got those rocks when we did. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we can get some. Nice Art. samples. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, nice to uh, Sternostylus slash Gastroptychus. It, it makes sense. There is a, a curve monsters. in the visometry that I was looking at during, but we don't need to do it. So we can just. Two squats? Double squats. Do the southeast like you're. Double squats. <laughs> also on the, Let's get one know, squat, the dead part. And the other. The, well, not dead. It's zoanthid. It's uh, we don't, we don't need to the do parasitized that. organism, parasitizing organism that uh, is engulfing this colony of uh, probably, I don't know what this is, Norella maybe? It's All got the polyps are open, it's hard to see. It's got some long uh, chompers. Oh, the crab? Yeah, kilopeds. Is that, is that the term, chompers? Yeah. kilopeds. Yeah, you can go wide, please. Even though they look like the arms, technically they're all legs. It's just, yeah. But Anatomical. Okay. 
close it. One closer. All right, my online viewers, um, thank you so much for joining us on this watch. We are switching it over to the 8 to 12 crew now. Uh, that was awesome. I hope that you all continue to stay on and see some more amazing things. I see a fish right now swimming by. So it looks like the action is still happening. Okay, so quick. enjoy, and we will see you again next time. Thank you. Quick zoom, okay? Can we? Oh, she's swimming away. It's okay. I ever won. Trevor, the, the vessel is still... Is still moving? Yeah, still moving. Looks just... Like stopped, just stopped. Yeah, just... Yeah, just about to. Welcome one, so, welcome all to science, the 12, to 8 to 12. 
Okay. We're just getting settled in, so bear with us. Can I get uh, bubble on gauges, please? And can you tilt down a bit, please? On the dump bubble. Just a second, that's crazy. Me. And hey Dave. You. Can we get like um like the cinema cam or something different on channel three? Satellite three. Ugh. Yeah, I think it was too. But it's over. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's been there all day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Ow. Hello, science. You on there? We're just waiting for you. Oh, I'm waiting for you. I'm about okay. To yeah, we're good. Uh, what I'm hoping to do this watch is make it to waypoint eight. All right. So, you know, as we go, no major, uh, you know, geology sampling. Maybe one near the near the top where we get to the uh, uh, near the end. Okay. But uh, yeah, let biology uh, do some scans and whatever collections they need. All right, the uh, vehicle's behaving very nicely, although there's a really strong current. Like we're talking, wow, levels of current. So that's gonna impact us slightly, but we'll okay. see what we can do. It's probably gonna be a lot of not looking where we're going, just side hilling. If that makes sense. I think we can start a ship move now, is that good? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's start with steps, yeah. Okay. So hello all you folks at yeah. home. Good evening. Please, can we step 50 meters every 150 degrees? Point two knots. It is once again the Roger. 8 to 12 watch. We're Roger. still at this uh, isolated seamount uh, just southwest of the Johnson Atoll Easy. We're at 1,488 meters. Uh, I'm Steph, a natural science and children's illustrator. We're coming to you as the science communication fellow for this watch. And everyone knows what that means. Fish. Yes. Where fish swim backward. Do we want to do intros, or are you guys tired of intros? Can you come down on Delta a little bit, please? Roger. Uh, we should do intros. Yeah. I say we should always do intros. Always. Always. Back row. Good morning, evening, afternoon, everyone. I'm Rob Pocolini. I'm the watch lead for 8 to 12 in the 
geology lead for the expedition. Uh, I'm a researcher at the Graduate School of Oceanography at University of Rhode Island. And I'll study just about anything. This is uh, kind of fits my bill here. Really enjoy this. And uh, if you're following along in your manual tonight, we're uh, at about waypoint seven. And we'll be heading uh, southeast to waypoint eight, hopefully during the next four hours. Hope you enjoy the, uh, the scenery the uh, camaraderie and the jocularity. <laughs> that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's a very beautiful one, love. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Paula Rodriguez. I'm part of the science, science team of this watch uh, in OIT and EV Nautilus in this expedition. expedition. And I study taxonomy of squat lobsters in the Museum of Comparative Zoology. And hello, I am Maranke. I am a science manager in training, and outside of this, I'm a PhD student at the University of Victoria on Vancouver Island, up in Canada. I study hydrothermal vents. I study the bacteria that live on them. front row whenever you're ready. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Elias Adidion and I'm a graduate student at the University of New Hampshire and I'm majoring in uh, motion engineering and ocean mapping. My research focuses on characterizing the uncertainty in interpolated bathymetry and on board the EV Nautilus I'm a navigator and also a mapper so we do all the mapping stops and you know navigate navigation. Trevor, Herc, I like long walks to the beach, Jimmy Buffett cover bands, and my favorite coral is a paragorgia. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh fish. Fish. Fish in the sun. Kind of fish. Um, Hello, I'm fish. Annabelle. Um <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Atalanta pilot, ROV intern, <laughs> beave. <laughs> um, and my favorite coral is uh, Victagorgia. Hi there, I'm Dave Robertson, uh, lead video engineer for this expedition and uh, sitting in the video chair for the 8 to 12 watch, zooming in on things. Uh, I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. Thank you, everybody. That was beautiful. Unlike this morning's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Stephanie. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hype because they saw octopuses. That's pretty and cool. Maybe there'll be more. Me, personally, I'm looking forward to more hydrothermal vent facts. More, I can supply those <laughs> for sure. You gotta well, do it now that it's mentioned. Oh goodness, okay. Um, let me think of one. I like how you look up when I think. <laughs> like, it's like you're <laughs> looking <laughs> on the ceiling for the notes you've written. I've left notes plastered. Um, gosh, now my mind's going blank. We're running on very little sleep here. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here. Can I get a reset once you get some pings, please? What do I know about hydrothermal vents? And can I get a bubble on porch, please? Do you know anything? Can you tell us anything about the critters that Thank live you. on hydrothermal vents? Yeah, I can tell you a little bit about. Oh yeah, here's the here's a fact. Do you guys know? Well, I'm asking you as if you can hear me. Maybe you guys know about two worms that live on hydrothermal vents. They are. The, I would say the most well-known animal that live on hydro active hydrothermal vents. The way that they're able to survive are because they have bacteria within them that do chemosynthesis. So they take the chemicals Great. coming out of the vent and turn that into energy. It's a symbiotic relationship with those two worms. But did you know that because they have these bacteria in their cells, they don't have a mouth or a butt? Oh. They have no digestive tract. No they just mouth make, or get butt. their food straight from the source of those bacteria. Wow. They have 
what is called trophosome, mm, which yeah. includes the bacteria, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mushroom coral down there too. Mm -hmm. That one has a, a different color base stem thingy than the other ones did. Yeah, this whole dive has been really uh, interesting biology and coral distributions. Look at all the crinoids on this thing. Yeah. Do you want a corn and a squat? I love how Paula's trying to uh, tell yeah. telestrate on uh, Zoom in, cinema cam. Look at that squat. So in the lounge, we were all doing squats so every time. So there is one big, and there oh, is another squats. small one. They are different species. So it is possible to check the small one. To sample or to what? Check uh, with the, the zoom. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you got more, Dave, go for it. Great. Oh, shrimp. Two different species. One is uh, very common. The other one we collected the other day. Thank okay, you thank so you. much. Thanks. Step on another 50. Yeah. Bridge nav. Yeah, the geology here. Step another five zero meters, same, same. Yeah, the geology is very similar to the uh, the previous dive. A lot of these sheet flows broken up. Okay, yeah. Bamboo whip coral, these long things. Goes forever. Can we do a gauge check, please? Roger, gauge check. Mm. Try to do them at the top of every hour. Roger that. Those like sponge stalks with the crinoids on top look like um, little palm trees in the cinema cam. Yeah, totally. Especially with the dirty stalk, dead yeah. sponge kind of thing. That red thing on that curly thing. Yeah, can you get a quick zoom down here? It's a red uh, thing. Yeah, I gotta be this side of this coral, I think. Oh. Might be a Chonicops? I don't wanna get anyone's hopes up, but. It but. looks like it's clinging on to the coral. Okay, zoom in, please. As good as I can get, unfortunately. It's not a Chonicops. No. What no. idiot suggested that? It's a, a sea star. Yeah, it's another yeah. sea star. It's munching and crunching. Eating bamboo. Yeah, okay, thanks, Kamide. And to all you viewers at home on, uh, on nautiluslive.org, the chat is open for questions, so feel free to send us a question. <laughs> They said um, Dwight did squats with them when we saw those squat lobsters. <laughs> Yay! Nice. Look at that shelf over there, wow. Yeah, sheet flow. <laughs> 